Bitcoin just broke the $51,000 line of resistance. Is this legit or just a fake out? The dollar stopped going down, so it's doing nothing, and so is gold. This and much more coming your way. Stay tuned, the podcast is about to begin. Hello guys, welcome to another FU Money. Today, Monday, the start of the week and the weekly candle started on the red. So we went already above 52,000, but as soon as we got there, just $200 above 52,000, we started to come back down and probably found support around the 51K, probably. So it's hard to tell if this is already a legit move to the upside or just a fake out above the resistance of the 48 to $51,000 level. However, we will just check that in a few seconds on the charts. The dollar also stopped going down. It just had a little bounce this week since the beginning of the week, just a few hours ago. The S&P continues its synthetic move to the upside also, just slightly above previous levels of previous weeks. And gold continues to be supported by the trend line, the white trend line that I have on my charts. However, it's being very, very difficult for gold to continue to go up. But let's go to the charts and see what really is happening. So let's start with the price to time model. So the price to time model continues to be inside the square. We are just a bit, a bit separated from the 2017 cycle, the yellow candle pattern here, by a very, very small gap, a few thousand dollars. And we continue on track, of course, to be uh, to go to the top uh, around this area. Of course, if we leave October and enter in November or even December for the next top, uh, the price to time model then failed by a small percentage, trying to predict that this price would be inside the 74 bars, which corresponds to weeks. So this is weeks and this is days. So 518 days after the halvening, we will not be at the top if we get out of the square. But uh, as I explained just before, I was just trying to prove a point if this was a pattern or not, because for the previous two cycles, the moment that goes from the bottom of the cycle to the halvening is exactly the same amount of time that goes from the halvening to the top. So this is just an exercise that I wanted to see if it worked or not, trying to predict if this same pattern will occur in the 2021 cycle. That's the point. So guys, regarding the price to time model, that's it. Let's take a look at the crypto total. And the crypto total basically just went above the red bar of the Fibonacci retracement tool. So here it is. For the first time since, uh, let's uh, zoom out again because I can't see the timeline. Since the 12th of May that we have not been above the 2 point, almost $2.4 trillion of total market cap. And as I said before, this is the area where we can start to risk manage and probably take some profits because you never know if this is going to be a third range boundary or we will just break to the upside and continue above the 2.6 trillion, which was the previous mark. Around that, uh, it was the previous mark. So let's see how that goes. But regarding this, uh, regarding the price structure that we have here, this, is continue, this continues to be very, very bullish. I continue to give it a bit more probabilities above 50% than uh, the probabilities of going down. So in my opinion, we might continue to go up a bit and see what happens when we find the first resistance that was formed from the previous all-time high. So in this case, of course, above the red bar, it's a good area to risk manage and protect some of the capital that you have made since the, uh, since the 1.15 trillion level when we had this reversal of the structure. And now it's the, it's the perfect timing if you want to secure some of those gains, uh, take 10 to 20% out of the trades and secure those gains. This is a good area to risk manage and take some profits. 
but of course this is not financial advice this is what i will do myself i will today and tomorrow reevaluate the portfolio and the positions i have in order to see how much percentage i should take profit here from my previous positions coming from back down here and to see how much capital i will secure uh, on my portfolio of course even with the intent of getting back into the market in case we just retrace and I can rebuy again some of those uh, gains in lower prices for Bitcoin, for example. So that's what I've been talking about uh, since Saturday on my stream and also when I was streaming live on uh, Hard for Cafe on Saturday evening, the same day uh, in Portuguese language, of course, for those that prefer to hear me in Portuguese. I was saying that this is the perfect timing to start thinking about taking some profits. Of course, now we are in, again inside the red bar, but probably we will continue just a bit more. Even if there's a, a retracement coming, we will probably have a second push to the upside and uh, there's a good opportunity for some take profits there and secure some capital gains. So that's it for the total market cap. The dominance is just stopped, so there's no point discussing this since my previous videos, it's exactly at the same level, around 41%. So let's see how the MRI is going here on the weekly chart. And this is one of the first signals I wanted to share with you guys. There is an MRI top warning. So we have a warning. We are already on the eighth count of nine on the green, and we have the orange arrow. So we might be in for some retracement, probably uh, the maximum extent of that retracement that I'm expecting could be this white trend line here, this white horizontal line. And this line is situated around the 42, from the 42 to 42 and a half, or even 43, that's the green rectangle on the uh, Pro Framework Indicator uh, chart, which I will show you just in a few seconds. But in any case, we have an MRI warning. It's possible that we will have some kind of retracement now. So uh, I said many times, it not, it's not going to be easy to overcome this resistance that started around 48 and goes to 51,000. We actually went above it to 52,000, but we are now retracing back down on Bitcoin. And it's possible that we will have a retracement since this is an MRI top. And as you guys know, the one to nine count will probably trigger a reversal of the price action. So guys, be aware of this. Uh, uh, my, my strategy is to take some profits uh, right now, something in between 10 to 20% of uh, any positions I have open uh, recently, because of course my HODL position, since I started to buy Bitcoin years ago, I will not touch it. But the positions I have, which are more recent positions, I will think about taking some profits from 10 to 20% just to secure some gains. And I don't see anything wrong about that. Even if this continues to the upside, you can always get back into the market. If this goes down and we find support around 43,000, for example, you can always get back in with the profits that you took from up there. So that's my strategy. That's what I'm going to think, uh, uh, think about after just doing this video. And I will calculate the percentages that are good enough for me and everyone else, of course, should think with their own brains and decide what percentages are good for them. So that's what I see on this chart. So, of course, the RSI continues to be in normal territory. We did not pass the, uh, you know, the line, uh, the border line to the overbought territory. It's just going sideways right now since the week started because we are retracing a bit. Um, almost $1,000 from the peak, which was 52,200, something like that. So we are now retracing and the RSI is going sideways. But we still have the trend line here and we did not touch it when we were coming down here. So it's very, very possible that if we have a retracement, we will retest the trend line on the RSI and let's see by then and evaluate what could happen. The MACD, of course, turned bullish. Uh, just uh, a few weeks ago. We are now on the fourth bar since a few hours ago, since the new week started, and the blue line continues to be above the orange line. However, this bar, because we are now retracing, this bar is exactly at the same level as the previous week's bar, so the momentum is a bit stopped right now for the bulls, which doesn't mean that the bulls are not in control, and also 
there's something really, really important, which is the supply shock that Will Clemente and Willy Wu have been talking about on Twitter. And by the way, you should follow those two guys because on-chain analysis is very, very important. And you can coordinate, of course, on-chain analysis with technical analysis. And if you understand both, you will have a much clearer vision of the market. So follow those guys. And those guys know what they are talking about. Uh, so uh, the supply shock is actually real. There's a shortage, of, a shortage of coins on exchanges. And of course, that reflects the price action also. It increases the price if you have less assets to buy. So uh, that's what's happening. And probably that's what triggered also this big move to the 52,000 just recently the past week. So guys, that's it for the weekly chart. I don't want to uh, take this video much longer in time because you will be bored. But let me just also show you guys that on the Pro Indicators framework, we also have here a sell signal. So this is the red triangle that you guys know already what means. This is a bearish signal. It's uh, like a sell signal. And probably we are in for a retracement. And that retracement could, of course, go as one of its first levels to around 47,000 and a half uh, as one of the first levels of support since this peak was achieved. So probably I will have to change a bit more my levels of support for the, uh, the last chart of this presentation, uh, which was 46 and a half and 44. So those levels probably might have to be just adjusted a bit. But however, right now, the bottom of the trend channel is around $47,800. I always give it a bit more to the downside, so probably it could go to 47 and a half. But one of the first levels of support might come around those levels. So let's see what happens here. If the bulls are still in control and really, really strong, probably this first level of support around the trend channel bottom here will support the price action before a reversal to the upside. So... If you are considering some buy options or entry points for this retracement, if it happens, of course, uh, around the $47,500 will be, of course, one of the first entry points. But the other ones continue. As you guys know, the $46,500 and the 44 are also in play. So this is my really, really good area of interest here, the green rectangle. You guys know this already. Uh, from from previous videos, it goes from 42 to 43. This would be my last uh, hill for the retracement. So if we come back down here, this is where I expect that the uh, price reversal will occur. So in between the point of the bottom of the trend channel and this point here, the green rectangle on screen, this area from 47 and a half to 43. This is the area that I expect if a retracement occurs, we can go. So I will start to DCA, of course, since the first point, and I will end my entry points around here, which is the best speculative area I have for you guys right now. Let's just take a look at the daily on this Pro Framework indicators. On the daily, we still don't have the triangle. The triangle here will take a bit longer to show up because this is the daily, so it's a bit lag, uh, more lag than the four hours, which will show the signals uh, much faster than the daily. However, on the daily, I will also be waiting for the red triangle. And if that happens, the confirmation is there that we could be in for a small retracement before continuing to the upside. So guys, let me be really clear. I continue to think that we are in a bullish cycle. The bulls are still in control. They are really buying. The supply shock is real and is also helping to um, increase the price on Bitcoin. However, this is for the mid and long term. For the short term, we might be in for a small retracement. And this is what I want to pass as a message of today. We can have a retracement right now. The signals are showing up. We have the red triangle in four hours. We have the MRI top on the MRI indicator, and we have several other uh, on the price structure that tell me that the probability of retracement now is very, very high. So just focus on the charts and uh, you know look at it and continue to just uh, follow the charts over time and see what's happening in real time because we might be in for a short-term retracement. 
However, my position regarding the mid and long term is that we continue in a bull market and Bitcoin will, of course, uh, go above the previous all time high around 64,000. And this is the message I want you guys to focus on. Okay, so let's just for a brief moment see what's happening on the dollar. So the dollar just went down a bit. Uh, for two weeks in a row we have been going down, but now just uh, since today we have been uh, bouncing back a bit from the moving averages, but not with really, really um, big strength here. So the bulls are not uh, with the momentum. The momentum right now is still to go down. So let's see what happens to the dollar, but I am hoping that uh, it continues to the downside, breaking down this support of the moving averages and retest the support around the uh, 90 to 89 on the Dixie. The chart of gold. So gold has been having a hard time to overcome this 50 period SMA, the yellow line you guys see here but we are still being supported by the trend line, the trend line that has been plotted since a long time ago already, and we continue to be above it. So now probably gold is trying to find support on the 50 period SMA and continue to the upside. So let's see how this week evolves for gold, but it's been having a really hard time going up. Although I think that gold will continue to go up this year, I am still continue to be bullish and I believe gold will continue to go up. Although this is like a snail moving, it's very, very slow. So we have to wait for further developments. The S&P continues to go up. And despite having four MRI tops and three extensions on the previous four weeks, we continue to support the price level around these levels here. Uh, this is not synthetic anymore. You should watch my previous videos, my previous probably two, three or four videos. And I discuss this uh, you know, in much uh with greater depth but uh in this case i continue to think that this is because of the dollar printing on the fed and of course this market is being pushed up and driven by those extra dollars circulating out there and people are investing the dollars on the market so this is not organic move anymore this is not because companies are really really having good businesses or creating new technologies or improving the world this is because there's too much money out there and people are putting it into the market because the majority of people are not stupid. And so that's what's happening with the S&P. Okay, so the last chart is, of course, the bigger outlook for Bitcoin, uh, the chart where I usually just plot and test my theories. And we finally, as you guys can see here, it's really easy to see. We finally broke above the 51,000 line, which is the top of this red rectangle. And now we found support again around the 51,000. So if this is confirmed, if we continue to go up from here and found support around the 51,000, then the move of Bitcoin is legit and we might probably continue to the upside. If we break down again below the 51,000 and enter the red triangle towards the uh, bottom of that rectangle, probably this was just a fake out, one of the first tests of this resistance. And we will have to wait a bit more for another retry to break this resistance. So this is also one thing that you should guys you guys should be focused on to see if we break, find support and continue to the upside. If that happens, the move is legit. If we break out and then come back into the rectangle, then this is just a fake out and we will be in for another retracement and probably a second retest of the resistance later on. So this is what I wanted to show you guys today. I hope the message was passed across um, in general terms. Let me just go back to my own um, view here on the screen. So in general terms, what I'm expecting is in the short term, we might be in for a retracement. This could go to the $47,500 level, which is the bottom of the trend channel on the Pro Indicators framework, but the other levels of support are also in play still. The 46 and a half and the 44 are still there. And the biggest one of them all, the $42,000 level is a big support, which I believe if we drop like crazy, that will be the line of support that will make the price action reversal to the upside. So let's see what happens there. Of course, all the other assets, you have heard already the message. So let me just give you guys another message, which is, let me just put on the screen the URL you can use to join the FU Money Telegram group where I am almost every day or every day, but not 24 hours a day, of course. I still have to sleep 
and record videos for you guys and live stream on Saturdays. So if you want to join us, use this URL here on screen just to join the Telegram group. And I'm there with a lot more people also discussing Bitcoin and things of that nature, of course. So join us. You will be very, very welcome. Also, if you enjoyed the content of today, if the message was really important to you, gently touch the like button and subscribe to the channel. Of course, share it with your friends too. And don't forget the notification bell. Hit it so that you get notified every time I start a live stream or upload a new video. And now the wise words before we go on with our lives. All right, let's roll. Hey, let's be careful out there. Exactly, guys. Let's be really careful out there in the markets. And I will see you again on the next one. Bye-bye.